name is Jasmine Moore and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the books that I want to read going into 2022. So I have a couple categories. I have books that I definitely want to read, one book that I'm currently reading that might go into 2022, and then a few books that I may or may not read for different reasons. So let's get into it. So this is the book I'm currently reading. It's Will by Will Smith, and I think it's written in conjunction with Mark Manson. So I'm a couple chapters into this, and I may finish this by the end of the year, or it might bleed into 2022. And that's one of the books I'm gonna be reading. So now we're gonna jump into a category of the books I definitely want to read in 2022. I have a couple of them already, and then the rest are sitting in my Amazon book list that I just haven't ordered yet. So the first one is going to be The Intelligent Investor. Now, when I saw this on Amazon, I thought it was gonna be a lot smaller than this, but this is a pretty dense book. So this is something that I might have to get through during the course of 2022, but this book is literally recommended by every financial person that I know and have seen on YouTube. So this is definitely something that I wanna read and interpret for myself. And this is The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham. So the second book that I wanna read is Numbers Don't Lie by Vaclav Smil. I'm not sure, I probably just butchered his name, um, but it's 71 stories to help us understand the modern world. I've heard pretty good things about this author and I think he was also on one of Bill Gates' old or maybe it was one of his recent book recommendations, but this is definitely something I'm gonna take a look at. Um, this author is also compared to Ooh, I don't want to butcher his name either, but the guy who wrote Homo Sapiens and Homo Deus, Deus? I don't know how to say that, <laughs> but whoever wrote that book, which I read both, loved both of those, so I'm giving this one a try in 2022. So another book that I want to read going into 2022 is A Thousand and One Voices on Climate Change by David Lockwood, and I'll put a picture somewhere here, just because I've been really interested in reading climate change books and i think this is something that isn't really pushed to talk about um, so i think it's best to educate myself on what's going on and what the data shows another book i want to read is the light in the darkness by Hanio flackle it's about black holes the universe and us and i'll also post a picture here another book i want to read i'm very interested in the universe and space and astrophysics and all that type of stuff. So that is definitely something that I'm gonna read in 2022. I'm also interested in reading more about modern dating. So the book I have in my list is The Dating Divide by Carrington. I don't know if that's kind of the best representation that I can get. I recently read Is Marriage for White People by Ralph Richard Banks, I think that's his name. Um, I'll put it on the screen if that's not it. Um, which was very interesting. Um, so I want to read more about um, dating in 2022. I also want to read more, even though I don't have kids and I don't plan on having anytime soon, about parenting and development and stuff like that as far as what the research and science says for doing those things successfully. Another book I want to read is Come Out, Come Out, Whoever You Are by Abigail Sugay. I think that's how you pronounce it. Probably not. Sorry if I butchered that as well. But I've really just been trying to educate myself as an ally to the LGBTQ plus community. And I feel like educating yourself on the issues in the history is one of the best ways that you can be an ally for a cause that you care about, the people you care about, and just in general. So that's something that I want to do in 2020 as well. So I have two books here that I may or may not read. I actually started, we'll start here. We'll start with the four hour work week. I actually started this this year and I just wasn't impressed. I only read up to what? Chapter three. So maybe I need to give it more time. Everyone on YouTube I guess and well no, I don't know anyone that's read it in real life everyone on YouTube that I take their book recommendations um, has read this book and says that it changed their life x y and z but I was reading it and I don't know it's just not clicking for me so maybe I will give this another try maybe not 
the second book that I may or may not read is Atomic Habits by Atomic Habits by James Clear. I actually got this book as a gift because it was on my list. But I just I don't know. I have like a thing. I don't really want to read self help books or I guess corny self help books. And I'm not sure if this is what that is. This is also a book that's highly recommended everywhere on YouTube and social media. Um, so maybe I'll give this a try and actually start reading it before, you know, I judge a book by its cover. <laughs> um, but we will see. So those are some of the books that I personally plan on reading in 2022. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any book recommendations or if you've read any, any of these books what your opinions and thoughts on them are and i will talk to you guys in the next video i hope you liked it and if you did and you care to do so go ahead like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one